they they've they've been changing and progressing like i said i've never i've never actually ever witnessed anybody uh, with a with a tick that was dancing to music wow um uh, um and wow and wow and um um woohoo um that rapid shaking one i've never seen any, anybody have that before either <sighs> so oh wow um if this happens to you oh uh reach out and let me know because wow um it feels crazy when it's happening mm. <sighs> uh -huh, uh -huh, it's like my brain oh 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 um uh -huh, uh -huh, feels like a uh uh like a like a prisoner and it's just it makes me feel like my brain's going blank for that moment uh-uh Oh, and it, my, it messes with my eyes and ah, ah, it does that. Wow. Uh, so, ooh, um, mm, yeah, uh, wow, uh, wow. Ooh, um, mm, um, yeah, um, uh, 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 message me. I would like to know if anybody, wow, experiences. <gasps> Um, wow, these things because wow, wow, um, wow, wow, I'm sorry, wow, uh, oh, oh, oh. <gasps> 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 I'm sorry, wow, uh, that shit's crazy, <gasps> and I'm so glad the kids didn't, didn't see that, but wow, I did it to myself because I was, wow, I was trying to act it out so wow, I could catch it on the <laughs> video because, like, I. Wow, I never catch that one on video. Wow, when it's happening. Wow, because it happens so sudden. <gasps> wow, and wow, as you can see. Wow, I can't touch anything. Wow, when it's happening. So, wow, I'm sorry. <gasps> um, ooh. 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 Uh -huh. Wow, that sucked. Ah. Okay, that one's new. I think wow because my mind's associating wow the sound woohoo which is probably why I do this too Woo. I don't know why uh -huh. it causes me down a little bit Ooh. you see what I mean wow I I wow I feel I feel wow I feel wow wow Stop that. Ooh, I, mm, I, mm, I, mm, I feel, um, ooh, uh, like a simple child. Uh, uh, just, wow, like an amazement, almost like, wow, like a, uh, like, like if I was like three or four, wow, and everything was just, wow, you know, wow, so, or two years old, like, wow, it's, wow, oh, uh, wow, wow, it's, wow, uh -huh. oh, this is weird, oh, oh, it's making me lower the tone of my voice, uh -huh. wow, um, mm, I'm gonna go ahead, wow, I'm gonna, 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 wow, I'm gonna I'm gonna take take try to take the rest of my medicine. Mm. Let's see how long this video lasts. always do that mm, to fix my glasses mm, when I was little mm, mm. I was zooming with it mm, I could do it mm, without using my hands mm, it was always when, I'm, mm, when I was doing something using my hands so mm, I didn't have time to I think I was like when I was probably little I was video gaming um wow mm, so mm, that one's coming up oh wow that was a common thing I always did to fix my glasses.
glasses up. I think I'm trying to do this like. Mm. There's a way to adjust it. Mm. Get my glasses back up on my nose. <laughs> 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 Silly dog, I don't know what she's doing. Wow, she's what are you doing? What are you doing, you silly girl? You see a fly? She probably sees a fly. Wow, I think she has ADHD because she has energy for days. And wow, she has this nasty habit of just chewing, uh, uh, chewing. Wow. Oh, that's new. Oh. Oh. Uh, chewing um, incessantly <sighs> on herself, anything that she could get her hands on. Wow. I uh, think I have a bone that she could chew on. Um, but, like, she's so smart at the same time that when I literally tell her no biting, she'll go like this. And <laughs> she's, 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 she's. So She's really smart. <laughs> um, wow, but she has like a, a, a almost like a, a short attention span because like wow, like she could be fearful, but if, wow, if you do something to like make her change her mind, <laughs> she she'll come running towards you, <laughs> like like oh shit, that's fucking awesome, I'm gonna get something and totally forgets it, like she did something bad prior to that. Oh, so she, she you know um you could trick her because <laughs> uh, of that. Wow, she's funny, uh, 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 but she's real sensitive. So, wow, I know, um, I know to like talk to her, but I reprimand her like verbally, like you did bad. Um, 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 you know, you're wow, you're gonna go to your timeout place, and then wow, and then I'll let you out on like wow, I'll let you out in like two minutes, okay? <laughs> and, and she gets it, and I, I uh, train her a lot, like wow, a little kid, and she she understands. <laughs> Um, wow, well, um, and, uh, she, she's, she's a good girl, though, she's, um, she's, um, we adopted her, wow, from animal, animal control, oh, she's a Parsons or so, mm -mm, she, you've probably seen her in my, uh, in one of my other videos, wow, she, wow, she's like a cuddle buddy, she's a cuddle buddy, no, she's a, she's a cuddle buddy, um, she's a, she's a, uh, 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 I use her for, oh, oh, cuddle, cuddle, um, um, She's she's for cuddles. No, she's for cuddles. She's for wow. She's for she's for cuddling. No, she's for wow. She's for cuddling. No, she's for cuddling. Wow. Oh, oh, she's for cuddling. No, she's wow like an emotional support dog. And wow, I love her. Um, she's wow. Um. I, I support her emotionally and she, she she helps me out emotionally and she sticks by my side when I need her um, and, and even when I you know she's always looking for attention or affection so she's wow she's always close by and she likes to hang out she likes to hang out she likes to chill with me she likes to chill she likes she likes to She's a good companion. Um, oh wow! So uh, yeah, <laughs> um, this this video is pretty long. It's already wow! Well, it's already thirty five minutes long, and wow! Oh, um, mm, as you can see, the medicine has pre prevented me from having a full attack. Um, you did see me uh, actually cause myself an attack, so. Who, um, by trying to mimic one of my attacks when they happen, so wow, um, that was scary. I, uh huh, I, wow, uh, this is the first time I've ever, wow, recorded uh, myself trying to mimic what I've done, um, when I'm having a, a ticks happening or when I'm having an attack, so wow, um. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you and then the medicine how it's 
actually helping me out a lot. What are you eating? I'm sorry, my dog likes to eat random garbage. Stop. What are you eating? What? What is it? You're, you're like licking the floor. What are, what are you doing? so silly <laughs> anyways um wow uh so yeah um on a regular basis this this uh, that little action probably would have caused me a huge um probably a whole day worth of, of having an attack and not being able to kind of come back <laughs> to normal <laughs> um somewhat oh because these little ticks that happen this is not normal for me mm. Wow, better get used to it. <sighs> um, they, because they're happening every day, and it's it's been months like this now. Um, this is kind of, and they're progressing. And wow, I have I have full days where I'm having attacks, and this is why I don't videotape as often because I do this for myself and I mm, I don't have anybody helping me to videotape and I'm not I'm I'm definitely not going to include my children and if you want to know why it's because I have a huge fear of putting my children my family publicly out there and and and, and having people to to, 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 to try to see them and, and and things like that you know they, they live their lives already while with a, a lot of issues so the the last thing i need to do is to add on to it by um putting my children's lives in danger uh, um you know it's 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 not a fun thing so if, if anybody ever asks me to please make videos with my family i have to respectfully decline and, and tell you you know to to um, please respect my decision to try to protect my own family. I, I, I would hope that you would all understand uh, that you know it's it's probably a similar feeling if 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 you were in this in my shoes, you know. So, wow. Um, I I will not make videos, including my kids. You, if you ever hear them in in, in the background, it's probably because they, they might have walked in on on me videotaping myself. But you. You definitely will never have me um, putting them their faces on camera. Wow. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. The, um, there's there's that. Wow. And um, so ooh, ooh, I, I I I I also don't don't do a lot of of, of the major housework uh, 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 and, and cooking in my house. My husband does a lot of that when he gets home from work, and it's. Wow, it's not because I'm lazy. Um, it's because wow, I already have a debilitating spinal problem, and it makes it wow really hard and painful to to work, standing um, or sitting or doing anything in, in, in long periods of time, um, in, in one particular position. Like right now, my my my, my lower back is freaking killing me, and and I'm gonna have to get up really soon. Um, but but I'm just trying to I explain to you that um, uh, I'm mm, I'm not like your typical uh, uh, house mom. I I used to be super mom and did everything. Now I'm reduced to what I can tolerate uh, uh, physically wise because my body, if the nerve gets pinched just right, I will I will I will. I will actually look like I'm having a stroke and my body will lock into place and I I will be screaming inside because I am going through a f full body pain but my body's locked up and and the only noise I'll be able to make is ah! and the look of complete terror in my face that's it that's it so please understand um, I've had a lot of damage to my body. I've been through a lot of car accidents, and wow, I when I was younger, because of being so hyper, I I had a lot of falls, and and I used to climb trees, and I used to go very high, and I used to fall from those trees, and I used to have kids who 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 would chase me and 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 make fun of me or try to beat me up, 
Uh, so, wow, I, I, I had to be uh, extremely active to get away out of those situations. And, and it would result in me getting injured. So, and in high school, I even, not even high school, it was, wow, it was like the beginning of middle school. I had uh, uh, kids punch me in the back of my neck to where I passed out on the ground in the middle of the hallways. And then everybody would be in class. By the time I woke up, there was nobody around me. I would show up in class and just get reprimanded for being late. <laughs> And, and couldn't even explain the situation that I literally got knocked out because somebody punched me in my spine in the back of my neck. You know, um, wow, or how I used to get beaten up in, in the front of my schools and the teachers would just walk by. And this was an elementary school. So, you know, and that was in the front of the school. Uh, wow. So, you know, back in the days, things were different. People, wow, there, there was a lot of abuse happening in, in home and, and, and out of home. Um, you know, from schools, even from teachers, you know, I literally used to get um, bruises on my arms from my teacher when I was in, um, I think it was middle school and, and it was a, um, it was a freaking private school that was at a church, you know, and like, no matter where I went, I, I couldn't do anything right. I got bad grades and I always found somebody who hated me and who wanted to lay hands on me. So, you know, my life was rough and my body is literally expressing that it's just tired and it's beat up. And even my doctors who have examined me and taken, you know, x-rays on my back have said, hey, you have the back of somebody who's like at least 20 or 30 years older than you are you know you're showing signs of like degenerating spine uh you know uh, spinal stenosis um you know and you you basically have like like these these little pieces of bones that are just growing out trying to make space but instead they're just poking your nerve endings and messing you up so wow um this is why, you know, I, I don't do a lot of the regular basic work anymore, you know, and I need a lot of breaks and sitting down or laying down times because my back starts to get into such pain that every single morning I wake up, I'm nauseous. So well, I guess this is working. Um, and I guess this was helping a lot. But yeah, you know, this is what I'm talking about, taking medication and trying to get back to normal. But, you know, if you guys ever ask me to do videos about showing housework and cooking and doing all that fun stuff that I would love to freaking do again, because I miss it. I'm sorry. Don't take for granted the little things that you can do, cooking, cleaning. Even though they sound like chores. To be able to do those things again without feeling pain. Constantly pain. I would love those days back again, trust me. Being able to drive my kids back and forth to places. Being able to cook. Being able to clean. Being able to do the dishes. You know, just being able to stand up for long periods of time. Waiting in line without going through complete and utter pain to where it causes my tics to come out. And then everybody's looking at me like I'm a fucking joke. You know? I have worked my ass off. I graduated my high school. I graduated from medical assistance. I got my degree. I became a pet groomer later on when I found that it was really hard to work around doctors who were so condescending and treated their patients so nasty that somebody who's so empathetic to things like that couldn't even stand to be around that. So for me, to be a pet groomer was way more rewarding. But once again, it's long periods of time of sitting or standing tending to dogs that are heavy, that could be over 100 pounds, picking them up, putting them down. You know, having to fight with them when they want to get their nails done. Trying to get bit, trying not to get bit. Having to deal with the muzzles, having to put them on, having to take them off, you know. It's rewarding afterwards, but it does take a toll on your body. I used to deal with real bad carpal tunnel in my hand. 
and it's like now I can't do any of those things you know and if I ever am able to let's say perform dog grooming on my own dogs or if I have to work because my husband just can't afford to help me with my own medication because it costs money and no insurance covers it by the way then yeah I have to suffer through it I have to take a lot of medication before and afterwards just to make enough money to be able to afford that same medication later on so I do what I have to do but it's not without its consequences because then I pay for it and have tick attacks for like the whole entire day the next day probably because I'm in pain or my arms are hurting me or my back is hurting me so you know please don't judge so harshly if I can't do certain things, it's just it's really beyond my capability. But I still do it and try the best that I can. But I will not videotape it because of the fact that it is a struggle in itself. And I'm not going to put my family out there like that. Once again, these are still my own personal diaries that I choose to put out there. And it's just to see if it can help anybody else. Because I know other people's videos help me out a lot. And I think everybody out there in the community who has the same thing that I go through every day. I thank you for your videos that you guys put out there. Because it makes a difference in the lives of certain people. Because there were moments where I just felt like I wanted to die. Watching videos and seeing other people go through what I went through. Is what stops me. That of my kids. Knowing that I have to live for them the best that I can. But every day, it feels like you're living in a tortured body. And you're trying to steer your life between all the pain and everything else that everybody has to go through. And still remember that their lives are just as important as your own. And you can't be putting all your shit on top of them. So, this is a way that I vent and a way that I can record what's happening. I have no other way of remembering it sometimes unless I videotape it so respectfully if you like to watch videos of cooking and doing actual physical activities I, I am so sorry but I can't provide those type of videos I can just provide inform informative videos like what I do right now speaking to you and um just being able to try to go over what's happening to me and trying to capture it as it happens and what works for me and what doesn't work for me and what helps me. Um, I apologize about the sobby part, um, but I hope this helps uh, anybody out there who is going through the same thing that I am. Um, just wanted to share uh what i'm going through and what's happening with me and uh i still gotta figure out if i'm gonna post this or not so yeah i'm gonna end this <sighs> um but i'm gonna end it on a happy note i hope that everybody is safe and happy i hope that god blesses you all and that um you can be smart enough to keep your face covered um, because this virus is constantly changing and we don't always have the vaccines for every single one of them so it's better to always play safe than sorry um, you know and if, if you know you don't do it for everybody else do it for yourself I have cousins and nephews and nieces that go out there every day and they're vaccinated and they face the world and they hug everybody and, and they show their love and and now they're dealing with COVID again and it's really scary because it's different than the last one and um, they don't know which one they have now you know is it the one that they have a vaccine for is it the one that is new is different that has changed that they don't have a vaccine for so just be safe, okay? And be very careful out there. God bless you all. Bye.